After you take your sample for your hydrometer reading, uh, we're going to be pitching the yeast. Um, when you pour the yeast onto the vert, that's what's referred to as pitching the yeast. Now the first thing that you have to do is to not pay attention to the instructions on the back. Do not pay attention to the instructions on the back. There's no need to start the yeast. All you have to do is just sprinkle the yeast on top, just like I'm doing right now. And if you're using liquid yeast, then you do want to follow the instructions, which basically is nothing more than smacking the packet with your hands, and that will break the inner seal, and that will activate the yeast. And then all you have to do is just pour that liquid yeast on top of your vert, the same way I just did here with the dry yeast. So once you're done with that, then you have to shake up the mixture. So you got to put your lid on your bucket. Now remember, before you put the lid on your bucket, make sure that the lid is sanitized. Use the I4 solution to uh, splash the inside of the lid. And also, when you shake it, you um, you know the lid should have a hole for your airlock. Make sure that your hand sanitized so that when you're shaking it, you know the the vert's going to touch your finger, so you don't want any bacteria in there. So make sure that your hand is also sanitized. And all you have to do from there on is just shake the bucket. You're going to do this for like four or five minutes. Um, it is exhausting. So, like I said, there's no need to pick up the bucket. You can just do it on the floor and just shake it, um, and, you know, as hard as you can for about four or five minutes. Like I said, you should pretty much be exhausted by the time that this is done. And after you're done with that, um, the next step will be just to simply uh, put your airlock on, on your lid and store the bucket. Um, somewhere where the temperature is ideal for the type of beer that you're brewing um, you know in this case it was a pale ale so we stored it at 67 degrees I believe is what we did um, if you're brewing uh, a lager or something like that then you might want to do a little bit colder uh, but once you're done with that you you, you store your bucket then you want to go back and do your hydrometer reading from the sample that you took earlier and all you have to do is just basically pour that beer onto your, onto your uh, little sampler and just measure the specific gravity and the gravity is going to tell you how dense the water is um, you know water at 60 degrees should be at about one um, and w when you have your vert like this it should be somewhere around uh, 1.05 ish depending on the type of beer obviously and that is pretty much it um, after that, this is where the hard part comes, and that is basically time to drink beer. You need to start drinking some beer to get some beer bottles that you can reuse. Uh, the types of bottles that I like to use were Fat Tire, um, Sam Adams, uh, Pacifico, and some others that you can actually, um, like I said, reuse and put uh, bottle caps and stuff like that. So that is pretty much it for pitching the yeast and fermenting it you gotta leave it about seven days uh, actually it should be about eight to twelve days um, and then if you're doing any dry hopping then a, a few more days um, so next video we're gonna be talking about bottling your beer